And our top story tonight at 11, you paid for it. There has been financial pain across basically every aspect of your family budget this year, whether it's food, gas, rent, and so much more. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice is off tonight. And now another necessity will get even more expensive. To on your sides, Nate Benson is in our newsroom tonight. Nate, now the uh, water bills are going to be going up in Erie County again, right? Yeah, that's right, Scott. If you've been following any of our reporting this year, the reasons why will not surprise you. The economy, supply chain, and other aspects are being blamed. Starting in January, your bill from the Erie County Water Authority will be higher. We did not anticipate as I think no one could anticipate the effects of the pandemic. So if you have a drippy faucet, you're going to want to make sure to tighten the valve because the average consumer of Erie County water can expect to pay 36 more dollars per year when the rate hike goes into effect in 2023. The culprit, according to the Erie County Water Authority. Our chlorine costs have gone up 150 percent. It's we're talking about millions of dollars more needed in the budget for chemicals. Then our power increase has gone up 45 percent, and that is also up at an astronomical level and again in the million dollar range of an increase. Uh, so we're getting hit pretty hard. So the Erie County Water Authority is passing those expenses on to the customer to the tune of 10 cents a day. Is this a permanent rate hike or could the authority bring the rates back down? Unless something unusual happens that the growth rate of costs goes continues. We're hoping this is a one year blip. According to the Water Authority budget, the extra expenses mean that more revenue is needed for their system-wide infrastructure project, which will take 20 years to complete. Next year's portion of that project will be $75 million worth of upgrades. Another reason the authority says the rate hike is needed, they can't seem to enter into long-term contracts anymore. You know, a two- or three-year contract, which we typically have used to control costs, we're being forced into one-year contracts in the hopes that the prices will stabilize. With so much of our daily lives, food, housing, and now water, we're seeing more and more that prices are remaining high. I asked the authority chairman again. How confident are you that this is a one-time blip? I don't know. I, I, the honest answer is I don't know. We do think there's a chance the electrical costs are going to plateau, and because we're in this consortium and it's a market rate thing, it could adjust back. As I mentioned, the other item driving up costs is chlorine. Chairman Schott said there are only two producers of chlorine they're able to buy from, so it's unlikely that price will be going down. In the newsroom, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.